welcome to John's Guitar Lab. Do another folk song, okay? This one's by the late, great Pete Seeger. Uh, you've heard it. It's called Where Have All the Flowers Gone? All right, I believe he recorded it in 1955, but there have been a lot of remakes on this. You know, it's been covered many times by a lot of people. All right. As you could see up on the board, okay, what do we have? You know, basically four or five chords. That's the entire piece. All right, so let me just go through it quickly. And then I'm going to show you one thing that you could do to sort of uh, uh, make it a little more interesting for you. All right, intro, you know, the four chords. <laughs> probably going to want to Google it, you know, to hear it because uh, my melody and my singing might, might leave something to be uh, desired, to say the least about the most. In any event, you could see that it's just a basic pattern. The only thing is when you get down here around uh, measure 17, there's a C chord to make it different. Now, one of the things here, again, all down strokes. Right. right now, that's important because you get you have to get used to locking your tempo in. All right, and you've heard me mention this before in a lot of my earlier videos. When you're making the chord change, make a clean change. Don't do this. It's, you know, it might sound okay to you, you know, especially that we're in the key of G and, you know, there's a lot of open strings in the key of G, so it almost meshes in there. But from a standpoint of actually playing the rhythm, it leaves something to be desired. All right, so let's... Just do it this way. Now, once you're comfortable with those straight fours, what you might want to do, and here, this is going to be up to you, you pick your places to use it, okay? Don't overdo it, but just pick your places to use it. What it's going to be is where you've been playing one, two, three, four. In certain spots, you go one, two, and three, four. What did I do? So I went one, two, and three, four. Okay, that's that pattern. One, two, and three, four. So you pick your spots where you want to use it. Just a little subtle thing, but it makes the world a difference. All right? Use it, have fun with it, place it where you want to place it. Just don't overdo it. Any questions, comments below. If you enjoyed the video, you know, give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. 
Take care and have a nice day.